Well, welcome back. I have 2007 Toyota Highlander, 3.3 liter. Uh, needs a front valve cover gasket, uh, one near the radiator. These have been changed by a former owner. Um, back's not leaking at all. Front's leaking, which is nice because the back's a lot more work on this. But we're going to, I'm just going to go through and we're going to redo the front valve cover gasket on this because it is leaking pretty badly. I, I don't know why. I could tell looking at the uh, tube seals that, yeah, this has been changed, but something didn't go right. I don't know what it was, but we're just going to, we're going to replace this, um, get this leak fixed. Okay, pretty simple. Yeah, I just got to get all this stuff out of the way. There's not a whole lot. There's some, but that's pretty simple. Should be pretty simple. I'll do this hose. Let me get a uh, magnet tray. All right, pretty much 10 millimeter across the board here. I'm going to undo the coils. I'm going to clip them. I think all the connectors are broken on these already. Not me, but it does happen. Somebody's had them apart. They get brittle, easy to break. Is that what happened here? I don't know. I just know they're broken. Okay, I'm just going to go around. Uh, these are inverted torques. Uh, one here, one here. This one's pretty beat up. I already looked at it. I'm hoping I can get a hold of it here. The other one's not bad at all. That one, that particular one is pretty bad. I don't know why. This one, uh, we'll see. May have, to, may have to resort to some other tactics here. Because I think this is just, just going to beat this thing up pretty good. I'm just going to go around, break all these loose. Oh, that one's going to be fun. I got one buried here. I don't want to undo this top hose if I don't have to. There we go. Let's see if we can get this out. Let's push, kind of push that out of the way. I believe we can do it. Okay. Figure out what to do with that one. Alright. Pull my coils out. Just sit them aside. Spark plugs were done in this when they did the valve covers. I don't know how long ago, but I think it's been within 20,000 miles. Let's just get it started on here. I don't know if it's a 10 or not. Let's just see if we can get that on there. Yep, it's going on. Is this going to help me? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to double on there and see if we can use that bottom nut to break it loose. don't know if I have enough room. It's kind of, uh, kind of tight here. I don't know. We'll see. Get the top and tighten up here. All right, so we've got two of them on there, kind of locked together, I believe. Come on. Come on. So it's already torn. I don't try not to break it. I don't really want to break the cover. There we go. So that gets me a little bit more room to get a, maybe a wrench in there. Maybe. I'm trying to get that bottom one. Just the bottom one. See if I can get a wrench on it. Come on. You gotta be difficult, don't you? Uh, what are you, the wrong size? No, that's the right size. It's just, just enough. There we go. Yeah, it's coming loose. There we go. I know it's exciting, but it worked. It did work. There we go. Set that aside. All right, so this should be allow me to peel this up out of the way. We'll just push that up out of the way enough to get the get that back bolt here. All right. 
get this hose off here. I'm not even stuck. So you know somebody's been in here. It's not even stuck on there. Push that back out of the way. Should be able to pull, just pop this off now. Yep. There you go. Well, it looks pretty clean inside. Looks bad, not bad. So you can see it's been done. As you can see, there's a wheel all on the outside of this. It's been leaking. I, I don't know why. It doesn't really matter. But I just wanted to show you that got to do these seals in the middle. I've already pulled the gasket off the outside. But this, you can use a screwdriver or something to get in there, a pick, 90 degree pick, and pick it up. Just I'll just show you how they come out. You basically, just get, up, get it under there and pop it out like that. That's all they are. Gas and clean up. My seal's removed. There's two little tabs on either side. So before you uh, try to put the new seal in, you want to bend one of those tabs up out of the way. Just get a pair of pliers, bend it up so you can slide this in one side, get it seated, hopefully, and get it started on this side. And then you're just tap it in place basically. Make sure it's seated all the way down. You might have to use a little hammer. I use like a socket that's just big enough to fit around this on the outside, fit around this raised ridge, tap it down in. Let's see if I have one the right size. That'll work. Shouldn't take very much. Just make sure it's seated all the way down in there. It's down far enough. I just want to bend this tab, flatten it back out. Again. You know, do that for all three of them. Cleaning time. A little brake clean. Ran initially here, just wipe it off. So we're just going to run a bead, small bead, not a ton, but a small bead. You got to get some on here across these seams. Don't need a lot, but you do need to get it in there. So it doesn't leak out of there. And of course, right along the hump over here, I'm gonna run a little bit along that too. Get that in there. So you can see the four seams. One, two, three, four. Got a little bit of sealer on them. Back you back out here. And it's hard, this one's hard to see. All right behind this hose where this hump is. Let me show you on the gas. So there's a hump. You want to put sealer on these two corners, right in the corner before you put the gasket in. So I have a little bit of sealer right on those corners before I put this back on. All right, so now it's just a question of putting it back on. New gasket, new tube seals. Just gonna pick up my radiator hose here. Line up your tube seals. You may have to work it around them to get it on there. Yeah, it's sitting up on my tube seals. There it goes. Just kind of wiggled it back and forth and went down and the seals went down and around the spark plug tube seals. Things line up so now we can just start putting them back on. Now I'm just going to, I'm not going to, I'm just, just going to run them down but I'm not going to put any pressure on them yet. There is a torque sequence to these and a specific torque value which you need to do or they, it will leak. So the sequence for this is one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, there's one here too. I don't remember that in the sequence, but that's probably the last one. Um, 70, 69 inch pounds. So I'm just going to do two passes. I'm going to do 40 inch pounds first, and then 60, 69 inch pounds. There we go. I'm going to push this out of the way enough so it's not rubbing against it, so it doesn't skew the reading on me. 
which I can do, it's just enough room to do it. Alright, second round, 69 inch pounds. I'm just going to leave those two nuts on there. Don't think they're in the way of anything. They're not going to hurt anything. Make it easier to get it off if somebody has to do it next time. Which is hopefully never. Okay, put the engine cover up. Uh, no, let's not put that on yet. Let's put the hoses back on here. Make sure we get that back to where it should be. Okay. Got the connectors back on. They're back on. Just got to put the engine cover on and we're done. I think this is a five millimeter. I think that's what it is. That's it, pretty much done. Well, that's it for the 2007 Toyota Highlander 3.3 front valve cover gasket. Pretty simple to do. Not very hard at all. Um, use RTV where I showed it being used so it doesn't leak along those seams. Um, and do the torque to what it should be, 69 inch pounds is what I saw for this one. Uh, and the sequence that I showed, uh, I don't, you know, I'm not a torque Nazi. Uh, a lot of things I don't worry about it too much. You, you know, you got to get close. But on stuff like this, if you don't torque it to what it says, you're, it's going to leak. So pretty simple job. Um, I would have done the rear valve cover gasket, except I know these were done not very long ago, and the rear's not leaking at all. So it's a lot harder to get to. You got to pull the upper plenum. You got to pull the throttle body off, wire harnesses. Got to get them out of the way. Uh, no need to do it when it's not leaking. Uh, if you need to do this for your uh, car, I hope it helps you out. If you like the video, subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Trying to get that bottom one, just the bottom one, see if I can get a wrench on it. Come on, you gotta be difficult, don't you? Uh, what are you, the wrong size? No, that's the right size, it's just, just enough, there we go. Yeah, it's kind of loose, there we go.
Oh, that's exciting. But it worked. <laughs>